New Hanover County School Child Nutrition Director Imer Smith joins me now to give us an, uh, an update. Good morning. Good morning. We're here at Murray Middle School. So first, tell me how things have been going, where you guys are at so far with meal distribution. Well, it was um, something that we've never experienced before. I mean, I've been through several hurricane shelters, but this is something where you just had to react quickly to make quick decisions to make sure that you could um, feed children throughout the community. Um, so it's uh, we finally got a great pattern in place with feeding um, children. We have over 20 schools, 50 plus bus stops available. And um, we're very excited to know that our service is helping so many in the community. So how many meals have you distributed so far? We have hit the 500,000 mark. So it is just a blessing in the skies that, I mean, we were able to make that happen. And I've got such a great staff and our partnership with the YMCA has made it fantastic. Um, actually, they are helping um, those families when it was shelter in place, um, delivering meals to the households. And we have um, just a fantastic team with transportation, um, administration, helping to deliver, you know, deliver the meals. So what all services are you offering? Delivery and pickup locations? We do. We have um, the 20 school curbside meal locations from 11 to 1. And then we have... Um, standard like hours for bus stops and we try to scatter those all throughout New Hanover County. We've got various times for those bus stops. Our drivers, transportation drivers are doing a great job getting those out um, and we're going to continue this um, through June 11th and then we're going to continue the service. Maybe we're going to reduce it um, after school gets out with buses and having nine schools available with meal service till the end of June. And then we're gonna do our traditional summer feeding. We've been doing summer feeding for over 25 years in the summertime. So we're gonna continue that in the summertime through August 7th. So you guys don't plan on stopping anytime soon? No time soon. We're gonna just continue to, we, we see the need and we know that, and luckily we've been, I'm very fortunate that USDA and DPI have both been on board with granting waivers to allow us to feed children um, for this length of time. So it's been very nice and thanks to the governor for um, allowing extra funding for this to happen. How important is this service for the families and students in our community? You know, I have heard some um, just very personal stories about just how thankful they are that, you know, it, it was at a, a time when it was hard to get out and you couldn't get out to get food and then parents some parents are working some parents are totally out of work you know with no income coming in so just having this little bit of help serving two meals a day we're giving them a lunch we're giving them a hot lunch and a breakfast for the next day we have seen so many smiles and children just pictures that just will um, make your heart happy that really is incredible all right, thank you so much. Again, I'm Ur Smith with New Hanover County Schools.